The Pretoria showgrounds that have traditionally become the nerve center during local and national elections have been turned into a ghost town. This after severe neglect from Tswane management and poor security. Vandalism has also gutted electric wires. Sewerage is severely crippled and grass has not been cut for months, has turned the city's asset into a jungle. Many are worried about where election results will be administered from during next year's national elections. Today, the leadership of the Economic Freedom Fighters in Tswane is conducting an oversight visit to the showgrounds. Let's get more on this with SABC News reporter Patricia Fasahi. A very good afternoon to Patricia. Just take us through what's happening there. Good afternoon, Nzinga, and uh, to our viewers. Of course, we are here at uh, the Pretoria Event Center, formerly known as the Pretoria Showgrounds. It looks like something we've never seen. It's as if we have not been here in over a decade. And you'd remember just two years ago, in 2021, 20, uh, the uh, uh, local election results were processed here. Now, uh, where we're standing, you can see sewage that has spilled over. Um, buildings have been gutted, wires have been stripped, um, you know, great vandalism that has taken place after the city of Tswane obviously neglected this place, not uh, maintaining it, not servicing it. It has uh, very little security at the gate. Mo most of the other gates on the other side are not even uh, manned. Now, this road here in front is what, uh, uh, you know, the road that uh, during elections, even the president would be traveling down this road uh, to obviously come and be part of uh, the uh, elective process, the results that need uh, to uh, be processed and announced to uh, the population. Of course, the EFF, they here, they've uh, expressed concern about what's happening here, why this uh, prime venue, this prime piece of land has been neglected by uh, the uh, city of Tswane. Ubakeng Ramabodu, who's the EFF Tswane chairperson, joins me right now. Um, uh, what's your reaction? Um, many are shocked at what has happened in such a short period of time. Good day and uh, to the viewers, uh, Patricia. This is shocking. Uh, the municipality is failing to take care of this facility. And this is not only this one. Many facilities across the city are left, uh, are vandalized, no security. And this is a motion of no confidence to the leadership of the DA, the administration, the mayor who's supposed to be the one who play more oversight to make sure that the facilities of the city are taken care of. Uh, we've went uh, through this uh, facility. I can tell you there's no electricity, the sewer, the security and all that is being vandalized. People are sleeping here. The toilets are not working. The where we used to uh, hold exams, the IEC facility center, the church that used to be here, you know, is the shade of itself. And I think uh, the people who must take responsibility is the city because this is their facility and part of their responsibilities to take care of their facility, which is what they are failing uh, this Mali. Now, the EFF and other political parties in council have actually proposed what could happen to um, this land if the city obviously can't take care of it. Just take us through it because we're running out of time. Just take us through some of the proposals. What is it that you ultimately would want here to safeguard this and maybe just to you know create jobs and so forth we've called for a uh, develop who are interested to come and invest uh, uh, with this land. Uh, their, their investment will not be a waste of time. Uh, part of the investment we are asking that this place must be turned into a conference centre because we don't have any conference centre like in Deba and Cape Town. We want uh, them to build a hotel, student accommodation, TUT is just around the corner and they can have some uh, shopping centre and all those facilities that are going to create jobs for the people of Atrejville, people of of Mamelodi, Pretoria West, but I think the de uh, developers and investors are not coming through because they don't have confidence in this government of the DA uh, because they can see that they are not doing things correctly. They can't handle issues of workers. They can't handle issues of service delivery. How will we get investment if things are not uh, going the right way like uh, it's happening in the city? Do you want heads to roll? Who must take accountability for this mess that we're, has... We're going to open 
been a case of corruption uh, for the Tswabek board, the Tswabek board that used to be occupied by male Afrikaners who used to get 20 million a year from the city. But also they must tell us where is the money that was paid by Bushiri, where is the money that was paid by IEC, where is the money that was paid by I, uh, uh, UNISA and Department of Education that used to hold their exams here. So they must tell us, they must give us their audit, we want to audit them, we want to see their books, we want to understand what happened with the finances of this facility. In 30 seconds you also said that it's a grand plan to devalue this place so that they can sell it to um, for close to nothing. Yeah, they want to sell it to their friends so that they tell the council that this place have lost value. So this is a plan of the DA to neglect this place and to make sure that uh, uh, they sell it with a cheaper price and they will tell the council that it has lost value. Uh, we are going to come back here next week Saturday as the EFF to hold our Andres Tatani to clean this facility. This is our facility. We are not going to allow a white government to destroy this facility. This facility can create jobs. This facility can hold many programs. I don't know where IEC is going to hold their elections. Maybe National is the one that can answer that uh, question. And that's really the focus uh, to uh, you know find out from the IEC when uh, their prime location where they normally process uh, the election results. When it's vandalized to this extent what next where will the national um, election results be processed next year will it happen here who is going to fork the bill to obviously fix the mess that has happened here will it be the IEC will it be the city of Tswane what happens to the Pretoria event center that of course has been vandalized beyond recognition um, just there in front of you is the building uh, where traditionally the SAB and all the other broadcasters would obviously be sitting where the election results would be processed during election time. So uh, it's really a scandal that has played out. We'll hear from the city of Tswane what um, is happening, why have they neglected this place to this uh, extent. It's back to studio.